guys, welcome back to Wong Chemistry channel. For this video, we will discuss about solubility, but we will only focus in the solubility in water. Alright, and there are two important terms that you need to learn whenever we talk about solubility in water. They are hydrophilic area and hydrophobic area. So what is actually hydrophilic area and what is actually hydrophobic area? Don't worry, we'll go through them one by one. So what would be the factor that actually affecting the solubility? And by that in mind, we are going to talk only the solubility in water. We will focus only in water. Talking about your water, your water is your H2O. Alright, your H2O in the term of Lewis structure shall look something like this. If you remember, that is your V-shape from the tetrahedral. That is how your H2O should look like, all right? Whenever a compound is soluble in water, it means it can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. So whenever you say the thing is soluble in water, means your compound can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule over here, okay? And we are going to focus on these two terms hydrophilic area and hydrophobic area. Hydrophilic from the word hydro that represent H2O, from the word philic represent love. Hydrophilic area is the water loving area. It's the area that love the water. It's the area that can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. And since the hydrophilic area is the area that loves water and can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule, that means the larger this area, the more soluble the molecule will be. Alright? Because your hydrophilic area is very large right now, therefore it can be very soluble in the water molecule. And some example for your hydrophilic area, which is your COOH or your OH, your alcohol, or even your amine, your N, that let's say having NH2, that is also your among hydrophilic area. How about your hydrophobic? Hydro still represent water. Phobic means dislike, all right? You dislike the water. So your hydrophobic area is the area that dislike water. So it's the area that will actually move far from the water. And obviously, when the area is larger, when your hydrophobic area is large right now, then it will become less soluble because it will be moving away from the water molecule. So it will be less soluble. Okay? And who will be this hydrophobic area? A group that we call alkyl group. Your alkyl group over here is, is all your carbon group. Okay? And the example, as simple as like your CH3, your CH2, CH3, all that is your alkyl group, okay? So this is what we call alkyl group, the area that will dislike water, that will be moving far away from the water. The larger this hydrophobic area, the less soluble your molecule will be. So the most important term in solubility in water is this two your hydrophilic area and also your hydrophobic area. And it's very important to able to determine which is your hydrophobic area and which is your hydrophilic area in your compound or in your molecule, all right? So let's go for your example one that we are comparing CH3, CH2OH and also CH3, COOH. So, the kingdom down, that is my CH3, CH2OH. And also the question give you CH3, COOH. From that, you can identify the hydrophobic area and the hydrophilic area. This is my hydrophobic. This is the area that will dislike water. Okay? Well, this will be your hydrophilic. This is the area that will love water. Okay, that can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Next, this again, your carbon-carbon will be your hydrophobic 
area, the area that would dislike water and move far from it. While your OOH, your COOH over here, will be the one, your hydrophilic area. Okay? And I hope you realize that your hydrophilic area is different. When we talk about solubility and your hydrophilic area is different, we will definitely discuss about the hydrophilic area first. Okay? And which hydrophilic area is more soluble? Which one do you think is more soluble? Definitely your COOH is more soluble. Why your COOH is more soluble while your CH3COH, your alcohol, is less soluble over here? By that in mind, both soluble in water. But which one is more soluble? Okay? That is because your COOH can form more hydrogen bond with water molecule. Alright? That's why your CH3COH is more soluble. While your ethanol over here is less soluble because OH group can form less hydrogen bond with water molecule. And that is how we determine the solubility between these two molecules. One is your alcohol, one is your carboxylic acid. And obviously, your carboxylic acid is more soluble because it can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Okay? The second example of this video is comparing the solubility, still comparing the solubility of your ethanol, CH3, CH2OH, and also your ethane diol. Look at the ethane diol, still holding two carbon, but holding two OH group, your diol over here. So taking out your CH3, CH2OH as your first compound, comparing it to your diol over here. And that is quite obvious who is your hydrophobic area and who is your hydrophilic area. Over here, your CH3, CH2 obviously is your hydrophobic area, the area that will hit water. And your OH over here is your hydrophilic area. All right, we have one hydrophilic area over here. Looking at your second compound in this question, you have two OH group. Look at the two OH group. Both of them will be your hydrophilic area. So you have two hydrophilic area over here. While your hydrophobic area is the same, your CH2, CH2, that is your hydrophobic area. So we have the same hydrophobic area, but different hydrophilic area. So which one do you think we are going to discuss? Obviously, we are going to discuss your hydrophilic area because your hydrophilic area over here is different. Different in terms of number, not in terms of type. And obviously, your diol over here is more soluble. And why is that more soluble compared to your ethanol? Why your ethanol is less soluble over here? And why is this more soluble in water? Quite simple, quite obvious, because your hydrophilic area is higher. When you have a higher hydrophilic area, obviously you can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. And this is the reason why your diol over here, the one that having two OH group, is more soluble. Because whenever you have more hydrophilic area, you definitely is attracted to water easier. You can definitely form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Straight away, the solubility increase. See that? Simple. So, before you answer the question whether it's more soluble is or less soluble, I think it's very important to identify your hydrophobic area and your hydrophilic area. And then we decide which one are we going to discuss. And we always discuss the differences. Alright, we always discuss the differences. And obviously, the differences over here is your hydrophilic area because you have more hydrophilic area in here. That's why we are going to discuss the hydrophilic as the reason, okay?
And last example for this video, example 3, we are still comparing the solubility in water. Talking about your ethanol still using your CH3, CH2, OH, and also your butanol, CH3, CH2, 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 OH. Looking at this question, it's quite obvious we are going to discuss hydrophilic or hydrophobic. And as always, guys, we always identify the hydrophobic area and also the hydrophilic area first in both of the molecule that is given in the question. For the ethanol, quite obvious that is my hydrophobic area. And my OH is my hydrophilic area. While in the second molecule, you have your butanol, where your butanol having four carbon. And that carbon is your hydrophobic area, that is your alkyl group. While the hydrophilic area is the same. All right, your hydrophilic area is the same and the number of hydrophilic area is also the same. And bear that in mind, guys, when you want to compare, we always compare the differences, okay? There's no point comparing what is the same because they are the same. Why do you need to compare? So whenever we are comparing, we always compare the differences. So we are going to compare the hydrophobic area in this example. And looking at the hydrophobic area, of your CH3, CH2 having two carbon, while in your second molecule, you have four carbon. Looking at the alkyl group, which one is larger? Over here, alkyl group is larger, where we know that alkyl group is hydrophobic, all right? And when the alkyl group is so big, it's so large, and the alkyl group is hydrophobic, Phobic area, it doesn't love water. So what it means? It means it will move away from the water. And when it moves away from the water, what happened to the solubility? You are moving away from the water, so you're definitely not going to be soluble. Solubility decrease. Alright, the solubility in here will decrease due to the presence of the large hydrophobic area. Once we saw over here, your alkyl group is smaller. When the alkyl group is smaller, knowing that your alkyl group is hydrophobic area. And since the alkyl group is hydrophobic area, but the alkyl group is so small, which means the solubility in here will be higher than your CH3, CH2, 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 OH, your butanol. Okay, the solubility over here is definitely higher because of the smaller alkyl group. Your alkyl group is a hydrophobic area. The area that dislike water is very small, so it won't be affecting much, all right? The solubility will definitely be higher comparing to the one that having a larger alkyl group. See that? Simple. Just a kind reminder, we always discuss the differences, all right? Make sure you identify who is your hydrophobic area and hydrophilic area clearly and look for the differences. We always discuss the differences because the differences will make it different, obviously. And that's it about solubility and bear that in mind, the solubility that I discussed today is mainly only the solubility in water, okay? And whenever you come across the word solubility in water, you always go for hydrophobic area and hydrophilic area in your explanation. And I really hope that this video able to help you to understand the solubility in water. If you have any question, drop it in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I really hope that this video able to help you in understanding solubility in water. Thank you for watching and make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in the next video.